Hello, this is Tony from Pat Informatics, and today we want to talk about a new visualization that we think is going to be very useful to our clients. Now, for some time now, companies have talked about citation analysis, and normally that means they've taken a root patent, and they look at one generation, and then they look at those patents, and then the second generation. It's called a hyperbolic tree, and while interesting, that's not the way citations work. Citations are better served with a network, and that's what we've got here. This is an illustration of the network associated with qubit technologies uh, from our recent quantum computing report. And what this demonstrates right away is that some of the biggest players like IBM and D-Wave who have large portfolios are also some of the most well connected. They're, they have a great deal of forward citations associated with them. But what this also shows is that other companies like Wharf, the University of Wisconsin, Hewlett Packard, Stanford, Hitachi, Toshiba, other organizations that we pointed out in the report, but maybe don't have the largest portfolios, they're still really well connected. And so besides showing the connectivity within the collection, we can also use this in an interactive sense. So if I come here and I select IBM, we can send you a snapshot that shows you exactly who is interested in the IBM portfolio from the fact that they cited them going forward. In a very similar way, we can look at, say, at D-Wave. These are some of the bigger ones that we've talked about. But what about Hewlett Packard? Well, it turns out that they've got quite a few connections as well. Maybe not quite so many as D-Wave and IBM, but still extraordinarily well connected. And another company we're very interested in, Northrop Grumman, is also very well connected. So we believe these citation network diagrams will be very useful for our clients when they're looking for what are the most influential uh, companies in a portfolio analysis.